This is a pretty awesome coach. We know the economy is a little different now. A lot of you say, you guys, all you do is focus on the higher end motorhomes. At this show, we're really trying to bring you some more affordable and budget motorhomes. Now, this does have a special package on it. On Izzy from Endless RV, and we're at the 2024 Florida RV Super Show, also known as the Tampa RV Show. Behind us, we have a really affordable, popular Class C unit. And the reason why we do this, because we know a lot of our followers love Class C's. They have a lot to offer. Behind this is the Coachman 2024. This is the Freelander Model 26MB, which stands for Murphy Bed. This is a one slide coach. It has a ton of features for the price point. You know, we talked about how expensive RVs are getting, but Coachman is doing a really good job. They're giving you a lot of value for the money. Let's start on the passenger side. Now, this is not full body paint, but that is an option for this. Of course, that's gonna be a premium price. If you want that, you can get it. But if you wanna go more economical, you don't have to get the full body paint. This is on the E450 Super Duty chassis. So this has the Ford V8 7.3 liter, 325 horsepower, 450 foot pounds of torque. That's a is, mouthful. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm trying to <laughs> remember it all. Now this does have a special package on it. This particular unit is optioned in with the Escalade package. And specifically, it's gonna give you the convection microwave oven, leatherette cockpit seat covers, heated remote side, view mirrors, dual coach batteries, gonna give you a WineGuard 360, plus the 4G Wi-Fi booster, kitchen faucet with pull-down sprayer, child safety net over the cab, power vents with max air covers, upgraded steel running boards, which you see right here. Now, the nice thing about Class C's or Super C's, they have multiple places to enter. Of course, this is locked right now, but you can get in through here. You see your side view camera over here. Now, another nice thing about the Class C is, that, you know, the tires are a little bit smaller. They're much more affordable to replace. So this tire is 225, 75, 16. Hankook tires, those are easy to get, guys. We did a video on how much it costs us to replace our tires. We'll link it above. I'll tell you, it was much more expensive than replacing those. Continuing down the passenger side, you have an awning overhead, LED lights, power step, which comes out when you open the door. So it's one step. This does have leveling on it, which is really nice. It has the Bigfoot leveling system as the whole walls inside and out, which is also a nice thing. You do have an outdoor smart television, 12 volt, smart television so you can get your netflix your youtube prime if you've watched our videos you know we're streamers we stream everything have a good you have the internet set up on here so this makes a lot of sense continuing down on the passenger side you have your vent for your exhaust you have a tankless water heater this is really nice this is very cool an enormous amount of space if you like to tailgate if you're out camping if you like being outside you should look at this model and many reasons two gfi outlets over here two gfi outlets over here double cabinets large deep cabinets with hidden hinges you have a microwave out here guys you have a refrigerator out here with a freezer you have a gray stone is that the blackstone's cousin the, the enemy the blackstone's Maybe. like a family member that <laughs> ran away <laughs> but it's a, a propane griddle and then right here conveniently your quick connect for your propane because this is a propane fire coach now you may look at this table you know on a class one of the, the the dinks of a class c is you don't have a lot of storage space underneath it's not like the class a so if you had something and you want to be outside you got to carry tables with you not here guys it's ready ready for you to go and very simple this is on a spring hinge turn it here you have a lock, pull this. Locks right away. And you're done. It's locked in. Awesome. It's ready to go. And look, you pull it down. It's just Ooh. rain here. I just gave myself a bath. <laughs> but you also have a sink here. So you have your running water, an area for paper towel, bottle opener. Guys, this is made for the tailgate. So that's why I have this. Next bay. Here's your storage. It's finished out and like that rotocast finish. So if you get any spills, you don't have to worry about it. Nothing is going to get moldy in there, rot. There's no carpet in there. Next bay, not really a bay. It's access to your propane tank. We'll give you all the specifications, how many gallons. As far as our propane, fresh water, we'll give that a little bit later. No shortage of outlets here, and they're all GFI protected outlets. So you have two, four, six outlets just on the passenger side and they come into the rear rear wall all leds you have your bumper here cameras and then you also have the it's set up for the, the lippered ladder so 
Instead of having a permanent ladder like you do on this one over here, if you see, the Lipper ladder is a folding ladder and you only put it out when you need it. One other thing I want to mention before we're going to the driver's side is it's equipped with the CRV Super Spring Rise. It's going to give you a little more stability going down the road. Let's go over to the driver's side. Over here on the driver's side, this is a 50 amp coach. So you have dual air conditioners on here. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but when it's really hot out, we're down in Florida, you want not only for the extra power, but if one air goes out, you're not kind of SOL, if you know what I mean. Here's your outdoor shower, your connections for your city water, your drain outlets over here. You have your gas. Now this holds 55 gallons. You look over here and we move the plant over. You have your dumps, your gray and your black. You pull valves right there. Let's go into the next bay. And you have a decent amount of storage here. Again, finished out with that rotocast plastic finish. So it's not going to rot or give you an issue. Now, they do give you more storage on this slide. This is the main slide. It's really going to open up everything inside. Before we show you that, you see the windows here, as well as the slide topper, something that we're Always big fans plus. of. And while we're at it up there, you can see they do spring for the extra 10 bucks and they give you the, gutter the gutters, which we had to add on ours. And it makes a big difference because all that water is not running down the side of your motor Look home. at this. Now, this is nicely finished out. Good amount of storage here, guys. Because a lot of times Class C's, they just are lacking in store they do. exterior storage. This, this is, is again, great. This is not a class A per se, but the price is not a class A and they're making a lot of whatever empty space that they have to give you that extra storage. I just wanted to show you guys, they do have the clips here to hold these open. You have the same thing on the other side. Mm -hmm. So some extra storage here also really nice. And then if you go underneath, there's a couple of more bays here. Now this does have a generator built on board. So you have again, a little bit of storage here and it's kind of like a semi a little bit of a pass through of course you have the drive shaft so you can't run all the way across like you would on a class a yamaha generator really nice it is a 5500 watt gasoline generator so you will be sipping off of your fuel tank i prefer that over the lp because you have more of a, a gasoline tank easier to fill up also Moving on to the next, more storage. More storage. And wow. that's a decent amount of storage. Pass so through. We've seen a, a lot of Class E's. Wow. This is up there with, with, with storage. With yeah. the ones with, with the most storage. And I do like that every bay that they have, it is lockable. Security is a, a big concern. If you're keeping valuable things in there, you want it to be lockable. Coming down the rest of the driver's side, you see the other side view camera is part of the Escalade package. Here's your exhaust for your generator and then you have access to the inside of this Super Duty. Guys, I'm done on the outside. MJ's gonna show you on the inside. We are inside, guys. Coachman kicking it up a notch, and they're giving a lot for the money. And you gotta wait to see what the price is for everything, especially with that outside kitchen. That exterior kitchen is amazing. So let's start in the cockpit area. Okay, so you have your Ford chassis, very comfortable. Now I'm 5'9", so you can kind of get an idea. I love it, just like a truck. So here's your mirror controls here. Nice dash, your screen right here. This is Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You're gonna have, see here, if you wanna stream, you have your camera controls. So everything will be right here for you. Here's your AC and your heat, your cigarette lighters, we used <laughs> to say years ago, right? Some storage areas for you. Then you're gonna have your rear view camera here, which is always a really helpful thing. You got a nice, very bright light there. And then the both seats, the captain and co-captain chair will swivel to make it part of the living area, so which is very spacious anyway. But you turn these around and it's just gonna become a part of that. Now, right above the cockpit, you have a huge, huge, and I mean huge, we see a lot of cab over bunks. This is enormous. You could fit two large adults up here. This is, has an 800 pound weight capacity, guys. It's enormous. You have cup holders there some areas to keep some items. You're also gonna have two of these on each side. That's pretty great where you can keep actually a lot of personal items in there and they're nicely hidden out of sight. You're going to have a fan right above you here. You have a very bright light up there, which is great. And also you have USBs over here. So whoever's staying up here, you can plug in your phones and then a little storage area too, which you can actually can reach from the bunk there, so some good storage. So that's one sleeping area. Then you're gonna have another, actually two other sleeping areas. So this beautiful dinette here, you've got cup holders there, nice large picture window, storage underneath on both sides, a very deep drawer for storage. All the drawers are soft closed. We're not gonna break this down now, but you can just imagine it. You're gonna take this off, remove 
the uh, the pole there, and this will hook right into here, cushion comes over, and then you'll have your other sleeping area there. So that's really useful. Now, over on this side, you have a large stainless steel sink. Sink, not stink, sorry about that. <laughs> you have a residential faucet here with the pull down sprayer. Now, again, this is part of the Escalade package. It's optioned in with this. Above the sink, you have some great cabinet space straight across, no dividers, lots of room to keep all your dishes and mugs and things like that. You can use little bins in there to help keep everything organized and safe during your travel and then more space underneath. There's a lot of storage in this unit. Exterior and interior, tons. Now, you don't have a lot of prep space here, but they do give you this long pull-out area that you can use for prep space. And then more drawers, as you can see, soft close again. So here you're going to have a three burner propane stove, which is great. You have a power tower right back here. So you have some 110 outlets and USB charging area. And you have a convection microwave, also option. That convection is an option. So that's really, really great. Then, guys, this is so cool. I'm gonna show you this and then we'll hop over here. You have a fridge and a freezer, okay, 12 volt. Look at how cool this is. That's pretty awesome. Come on. That is so neat, right? Yeah. Thinking about it, there's a lot of people standing. Right. So you're able to access that from either side. That's really, really neat. And then you have a large cabinet, a drawer right underneath, so you can keep some pots and pans in there. And then more space over here. You've got some shelving in there, not adjustable. You have a rod so you can hang some clothes and then three more drawers underneath. Let's get into the Murphy bed. That is, it's 24 MB. So this is it. So you're saving all that space, guys. You have that huge sleeping area up there. You have the dinette area and then you have the Murphy bed. Now this is very cool for a number of reasons. It is a space saver, but not only are you able to have a huge bed, so this just very simply comes down. And what's beautiful about this, guys, is this is gonna give you a huge king size bed. Look at this, you can still so walk. Now, if the slide is closed, then it's, it's not accessible. Not accessible yes, but yeah. look at this, look at the size of and that. It opens up all king those windows. Bed and you get all that beautiful light, right? So you have your TV right across from that. And again, king size bed, still plenty of room to walk, plenty of room to open the cabinets that are here more storage area in there and you can put some knickknacks up there you've got some 110 outlets in a couple places then you have more storage in here a lot of storage hanging storage and then multiple shelves here as well and you can stack bins right in there you can keep shoes in there whatever a lot of room underneath again more storage you can option in combo washer dryer there but you do have pull out shelving so you can and soft close on that as well so you can have more store, tons of storage. Now moving into the bathroom, keep an idea, guy. If you have mobility issues, just know this shower is a bit higher. Here's the shower, right? Does the job, I'm 5'9", so I have some space up above me. You have the shower miser in here, which is great. The shower miser is wonderful because you can get your water warm. It basically gets the water warm before you turn it on. And then all you have to do is switch this. This will let you know it's warm. You switch that back and out it comes nice and warm. So it helps you save water in your gray tank. They have a built-in little, um, what's it, I guess, not an vanity. Organizer. Yeah, organizer, the word escaped me. You can keep your, your soaps and your shampoos there. This is a pretty spacious shower. It's really nice. So you have two cabinets here with two shelves, plenty more storage. You have a medicine cabinet. This is just a mirror. This does not open for medicine cabinet, but you got that. Plenty of room. If you take lots of pills and vitamins, perfect place for them. A little towel ring right there. And then another, guys, I, I don't think you'd be able to fill this whole thing. Another multi-shelf cabinet where you can just fit tons of bathroom items. This is great for like a linen closet area. You can stack your towels and washcloths. It's a perfect area. You have a nice porcelain toilet, and this is a pedal flush. You have a nice window out there if you want to look outside while you're doing your deeds. And uh, it, it really is a very spacious bathroom. So guys, let's give you some specs on this. I already gave you the engine specs, the fuel capacity 55 gallons, the wheelbase 190 inches, gross vehicle weight rating 14.5, gross combined weight rating 22,000. Cargo carrying capacity, so everybody wants to know 2,600 pounds on here. You can tow 7,500 pounds depending on your load. The overall length 28 feet 6 inches, interior height is 82 inches, exterior width 100 inches, exterior height 10 feet 11 inches. The LP capacity is 68 pounds, fresh water 49 gallons, gray water 32 gallons, black water 32 
gallons and the awning size is 19 feet so this is a pretty awesome coach and not only because of the features we just showed you but we're going to talk about the price so we have the msrp is one hundred fifty three thousand six hundred dollars and the show price is a hundred and seven thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars now a lot of you haven't seen that in a while over time say you guys all you do is focus on the higher end motorhomes at this show we're really trying to bring you some more affordable and budget motorhomes we know the economy is a little different now you can watch some of our other videos from the show some really really budget friendly motorhomes that have a lot to offer so in the comments below let us know what do you think about this motorhome are you a class c person and if so what do you own and if you like videos like this to the left of us we'll put our rv tourist playlist We'll also put our RV Newbies playlist. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime. And we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.